Students and their families are struggling to pay soaring college tuition costs. Tuition is up not only at private schools, but public schools as well. Kitty Pilgrim has more on why the spike could be to pay the million dollar salaries of university presidents. It's a nice job, president of the college, nice view, housing, benefits, retention bonus, even a retirement pay package. Twenty-three private colleges have paid their presidents more than a million dollars this year, including Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute of New York, Suffolk University, Massachusetts, University of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Webster University, Missouri. Even the median college president's salary of $358,746 is not bad and is up 6.5% in the last year. The Chronicle of Higher Education, a college trade magazine, keeps track of pay packages for colleges. These complicated pay packages are actually copied from uh, the corporate world. So for many people on the trustees, they, don't see, they see these salaries and they don't act very surprised. And they do raise some eyebrows on Capitol Hill since these institutions are all nonprofits. And, uh, Senator Charles Grassley says colleges with special nonprofit tax breaks need to be monitored. He charges that highly paid consultants push for higher salaries for college administrators, boosting their own fees. What you do is you get into a ratcheting up effect here where uh, consulting organizations say that a nonprofit organization ought to, executive ought to be paid more, and then uh, that consulting firm gets a reputation for recommending higher salaries, so then they get more business, and then the next time around, they raise the salary up more, and it just feeds on itself. But all that money has to come from somewhere, most frequently tuitions. Tuitions are up 6.5% over the last year for state colleges, 4.4% for private colleges. Some 58 private colleges now charge tuition of more than $50,000 a year. The Center for College Affordability and Productivity found that from 1987 to 2007, many colleges became bloated bureaucracies, hiring legions of what they call paper pushers, driving up college costs. Kitty Pilgrim, CNN. LSU Chancellor Michael Martin currently makes $490,000 a year.